Good morning, Team Han. Wow, you guys did an amazing job of coming out here and spacing yourselves. Pat yourselves on the back. I think you're awesome. The first thing I want to do before we start talking about the life skill of caring and respect is to introduce our new SOS staff. So if you are part of the SOS team, these are people that help us out in a million different ways. Would you please come up front? I want all the teachers and all the students to know who you are. <laughs> Miss Riley couldn't be here, but I think everybody knows Miss Riley. Yeah. yeah. So over here on the end, we have Miss Anna, and I think a lot of you have seen Miss Anna. I think you've seen all of these people running around. This is Miss Sarah Sally. Miss Sarah. And Mr. Sam, otherwise known as Mr. Oon in Miss Little's class. Anyway, let's give them a big warm welcome. We're so grateful for them to be here. Thank you, and you may go back. I'd like to also take advantage of calling up all the paras because I know our paras also interact with our students. So if you're a para, would you please come up so that all the students know who you are. Thank you. I know, no one likes to come up front. I'm not asking you to talk. I don't mind it. <laughs> well, maybe a different assembly will go for your favorites. Anyhow, we've got Miss Adriana on the end. We've got Miss Tanya, she's new to our school. Miss Erica. And Miss Jen. Let's, yeah. Warm applause. So, thank you. So if any SOS or any paraprofessional asks you to do something, the expectation is that you very respectfully follow their directive. Thumbs up if you can do that. Thank you, hands down. All right, we are gathered here today to celebrate those students who are receiving a life skill for caring and I put slash respect because when you're caring and showing that life skill of caring, you are being very respectful. So I'm going to ask Mr. Brooks to come up and help me. And before I get started, I just want to review what caring means. So it means you know how to say, I will help you. I'm here for you. You are not alone. When you say these words, you're demonstrating the life skill of caring, which you are being honored for today. Caring is a feeling that comes from concern, which is kind of like worry, but not over worried, but just a little bit worried about your friend and how they're feeling in a particular situation. School would be a very unpleasant place if we were not showing the life skill of caring to one another. What does it look like in school? It looks like asking someone, how are you feeling today? Listening to a friend when they have a problem, not necessarily solving their problem, but listening. Serving as a buddy for a new student. Raise your hand if you're a new student at Han School. You never were here before. Yeah, so let's look around and notice everyone that's new and be a buddy to them. It looks like sharing materials, talking with and listening to classmates. I want to remind you that I am talking right now and that to show caring towards me would be to listen. Yeah, thank you. And then helping one another to do their personal best. The development of the life skill of caring is a critical ingredient in your personal lives and as you grow up and you want to be a good citizen. Congratulations and thank you to the following students for making Marguerite Hahn School a caring place to be. Now when I call your name, you're going to walk up 
In the past, we would have shaked hands, right? We would have went, huh, we're not going to do that now because we've got the COVID thing going on. So we're going to do an elbow bump, and then I will hand you your certificate. Instead of staying up here, you will walk back to your seat, okay? Thumbs up if you understand. So if I call your name, you're going to walk up here. We're going to do an elbow bump. I'm going to hand you your certificate and you are going to go back to your seat. We have the pleasure of recording this assembly today and once it's all done, complete, we can send it out to the families. Okay? Thumbs up if you're ready. All right. We're going to start with this stack and we're going to start with Nathan. You have a list of names. I do. So that looks like our... Do we want them to the left school winners to come up ahead of time? Um, you can do it. They can come. You can call their names. So thank you to Nathan Oria. We'll grab our life school over there. Uh, also from Mrs. Hempsmeyer's second grade class, can I have Daniela Zavala Amador? And also, can I have Etta Zander? Okay. From Miss Everett's second grade class, can I have Cody Chanthavong? And Ava Panazera. From Mrs. Dunaway's second grade class, can I have Yvonne Aquino? And Corin Baker. Down to first grade, I'm gonna start with Mrs. Little and Mrs. Yanez's first grade class. Can I have Otto Henninger? and Reagan Henry. From Mrs. Cutler's first grade class, can I have Jack Berteo? Petra Drum. And Jayla Gomez. From Ms. Cockrum's first grade class, can I have Noah De Leon Perdomo? <laughs> Zoe Melendez. And Eliana Villalobos. From Mrs. Smith's kindergarten class, can I have Cameron Billings? Santino Carreno Delgadillo? And Maddie Navarro? From Mrs. Sacco's kindergarten class, can I have Jace Knight? Isabella Mendoza? Liana Mendoza? And Ariana Zarate? From Miss and Nino's kindergarten class, can I have Allie Grow? And Abby LaBear. Hey. 
Thank you for being such caring listeners. I like people who are looking forward and straight ahead. That shows great respect. I love that. From Mrs. Talbot's fifth grade class, can I have Abigail Montero? Brinley Scullion. And Noah Vasquez. From Mrs. Gamble's fifth grade class, can I have Ava Machado? Lila White. And Adrian Zavala. From Mr. Kane's fifth grade class, can I have Ethan Aquino? Amaya Martinez and Malik Menton Porter. Uh, from Mrs. Diaz's fourth grade class, can I have Kylie Knight? Elijah Lofton and Audrey Thompson. Okay, from my fourth grade class, can I have Sophia Gerber? Camilla Trancoso Barajas and Avi Zander. From Miss Lyon's third grade class, can I have Leo De Leon? Daniel Rodriguez and Kelsey Sutliff. From Mrs. Floor's third grade class, can I have Isabella Barbado? Rayleigh Cummings and Isaac Zabana. And from Mrs. Dunbar's third grade class, can I have Sienna Lawrence? Hudson LaCurcy? and Haley Smith. Let's have a big round of applause for all of our life skill winners. All right. You know, once the video went out earlier this week and I showed you a couple signs, I noticed everybody was signing walk and stop, which I thought was fabulous. So right now, I'd like to take a moment and show you the sign for congratulations. It's an easy one. And if you see our life skill winners today, you could walk by them and go like this. Can everybody do that? Congratulations. All right, but before I give this back to Mr. Brooks, is our Han Panther available? 
Let's do a big applause and see if our Han Panther will emerge. How are we doing, Han Panther? Are we doing good today? Awesome. Okay. Han students. I have some news. Oh, I gotta get on camera. I'm missing my mark. Okay. In October, on October 12th, we have the Walkathon. Now, there are many people who are like, oh, the Walkathon, I love the Walkathon, I've missed the Walkathon so much. And then there are other students who are going, What's a walkathon? Well, here's the thing in a walkathon, we walk. And it is a way that we are raising money for our school. Our life skill this month was caring. Uh, we have a particularly caring group called the PTA. Can you say the PTA? The PTA! And so the PTA are families that help us raise funds for our school. And they help raise for things maybe out on the recess yard, maybe to help for things like field trips and things around our school. I know those umbrellas that we have during lunch came from the PTA. And so the Walkathon is one of the ways that we raise money for our school. Now during the Walkathon and before the Walkathon, there are a couple things that you need to make sure you do. First of all, Everybody here has the opportunity to get a, wa a Han Spiritwear shirt for the Walkathon. And it's Walking on Sunshine. Our Walkathon is beach themed this year. So while you're at home, you might ask family members and neighbors to sponsor you. Meaning that every lap you walk during your Walkathon, you can help raise money for our school. Now, what day was the uh, what was day was the walkathon on? It was October. No, uh, it was seven. No, no, no. Uh, October twelfth. I am looking forward to it. I can't wait for it, and I know it's going to be great. And all I want to add is, if every student could raise thirty dollars, then we would meet our goal. Pretty cool? Yeah. And there will be some prizes! Yes. There will be a prize for the student that raises the most money in K2, and a big prize for the student who raises the most money in grades 3 5. But there will be other prizes for students that raise $30 and more. Okay, I know you want to help support your school, so you're going to be getting a flyer, and I'll also be emailing something to your parents. And so your little job is to say, hey, mom, hey, dad, hey, grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, neighbor, would you like to support me in the Han Walkathon this year? Can you do it? I know you can. Thank you for being such a wonderful audience. You clearly have that, the expectation for audience behavior down. I'm really proud of you. You did a great job. Eyes on your teachers now for direction. Have a fabulous, fabulous Friday. Oh, oh the school song. How could I forget? Miss Everett, we've got to sing the school song. Loud and proud, as Mrs. Smith just said. Good morning, Han School. Oh, we can do better than that. Good morning, Han School. All right, let's see if you guys remember our Han song. Some of you remember it? All right, ready? Here we go. Marguerite Han School is a great kind of school where students learn and to go.
job. Thank you so much, Miss Everett and students. All right. Thank you again. Eyes on your teacher and follow their directive. Have a great Friday. Bye-bye.